this all in um, without you seeing my absolute terrible desk. But <laughs> if you remember, we did a video where we did where one of the design team members, Susan and I, we teamed up and we did the recipe box. Well, for the recipe box, I thought that would also make a fantastic album. So let me show you what I have done. This is, and I'm going to have to lay it down. This is the Cheerful Line by Authentique Brands Making New. And I took um, that recipe box, which is a free tutorial, and I turned it into a mini album. So let me show you. The recipe box, as you saw, was a box. I need to move this. Because I'm not going to do another tutorial on this, <coughs> but I want to explain. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is, if you're going to follow the tutorial, and I know it's hard to see because this is a good sized project. Like I said, my um, it's time to clean up from all the projects. It's a good sized project. And um, when you make it, sorry about the glare, you have a portion that comes up as a box. What I did is I followed Susan's tutorial, which is here on my YouTube free, and I didn't make a box, so I stopped there. What I did is I, this is the bottom piece when you connect it. This was my first one, and so I had to do some remeasurement. Made everything exactly like this front cover that folds up. and would come around to make it into the box. But instead of doing I just left it as two pieces. Then this, and you'll see, became my spine. So this is where your spine will go. And because I wanted to put my accordion file box that I do, um, I, it made a nice big spine here, and it made room for not only pages, but also for, for the box, which you can put on either side. So, I hope that that helps when you do the video, like I said with Susan's, just make two identical left sides according to the cutting guide and according to her video. Do not make this into a box. Just leave it like that and it turns into your mini album and you'll make everything the same measurements, then you'll have your box. So let me put this aside. And that is where this came. So I'm going to lay it down to show you because I just love, you know, recipe books are actually just coming. I mean, they're hot. What can we say? Everybody loves the recipe album, but I wanted a summer picnic barbecue one with all those potato salad recipes, different things we get. And what a better line than this cheerful. Wait till you see cheerful. Now I've done some other projects with cheerful. So I did a few cards because it's just an amazing line. So I did some of the cards and um, let me just turn that off. Okay, sorry about that, but I don't want to, I'm on a different program so I can't turn it off. So I will show you the rest of the lid as we take it off, but here is the side the back. So you do have to leave it kind of plain on the back and then the side. And um, let me go ahead and take the lid off. And as you notice, my box doesn't just fall open because I did like Susan told us to do, use the magnets. So for the lid then, I have a handle here on the top. And then I'm going to come up closer to the, because I have the bees, which if you want to buy this in the paper kit, it will be available on the website under the class kits or tutorial. I can't remember exactly the words for it, but it's one of the first things there. And it will be an authentic. Um, the bees will come in your kit if you want the paper kit. Flowers I made just out of uh, the paper line, which I've shown in a lot of my videos, just punching out your flowers. The handle and also in the paper kit will be the polka dot bow bunny ribbon. Little uh, bike, thought it fit, fit perfect. And this lace. The double scallop lace will also be in the paper kit. Now this is part of the sticker sheet that comes with your line. And I used a different kind of glue, so we're kind of work, we're taking off our, our glue fuzzies. Now the inside 
is the paper line, of course, so I lined my lid. And I'll put that aside. Now, to keep my album from flopping everywhere, you'll see what I did. When you open this, there is a magnet. So mine opens to the right. You can have it actually go, you know, either way. And what I did is I ran my ribbon underneath my binding to keep these together as it was standing up so they wouldn't flop back and forth. So we'll start over here. Um, when you open this, you've got these two sides. And you you have to kind of leave these because the magnets are underneath and you don't really want to add a lot. Isn't this paper line just gorgeous? So I'm going to have to move up and down. It is very large. And then you've got this one. Just makes for pretty decoration. Again, I reused the picnic because I just love these. They're from the sticker sheet. And um, the sticker sheet is just adorable. And I did use quite a bit of it, but of course I don't just put my stickers down. I mat them or I use chipboard. And you've got some tabs. You've got a lot of use to these sticker lines or sticker sheets. So let me just go ahead and set this up a little bit so you can see. Now this is the accordion file that I make and I did do it in one of my other tutorials and actually I did the whole file box as a tutorial and then inside I have these are bigger than four by six they're a little bit bigger and I left them plain so that I can take my recipes and just put them right on there and there's room for two or three in each pocket so I can just put the ones that I've cut out of magazines and you don't know where to put. Well, they can just go inside there. Magnets on each end and then just the bow. So let's get to the album part. So this opens. Now my pages are seven and a half by seven and a half to fit inside of this. So my hinges are just a little short of seven and a half. And then I did do the three-eighth of an inch gusset but you could actually do your half inch gusset and I am it'll lay flatter but I'm just holding it up for the video so in our first um, first one is a pocket flap and again I can put a recipe I can put a picture maybe of the barbecue um, I have to work on that I didn't quite get it cornered down so it's sticking out further than I like and it opens to two more. So we have two more pockets where you can also put pictures, recipes, or you can just leave them plain. That one's being a bugger. We're not going to sit here and fight with it. Sorry. And then the back side. Isn't this paper to die for? It just reminds me of, and the strawberries. Remember the song, Strawberry Fields Forever, if you're older? And it just reminds me of those picnic days and barbecues outside and again they made this look like a picnic basket isn't that just so appropriate so let's go and close that now on my side tags I did use the red cartabella and I left them plain I didn't want to mat them because I want to just put recipes on there and this because this one I am keeping for myself this paper is I just love it so I did mix the black cardstock with the red cardstock because I thought it looked so great. So on this page, I have made a pocket and it almost looks like suspenders. And the reason I did that is so that I can put a recipe right in there. And as I'm working, sorry, I had lotion on my hands, but it'll go away. As I'm working, I can have my recipe put right there. And then I have a rest the recipe card with the ladybugs. Now, in this line, there's not the three by four cards, but there are the textured cut aparts. So they are still a very heavy cardstock, but they're textured. So there's they're not smooth like the paper line. They're really nice to work with, and they're heavy, and you do not have to mat them. We have a cat joining us here soon. So here is um, another flap, and I use the same sticker and backed it that I used on the cover. So when you open this, you've got room for a recipe there, and then you have plenty of room in your corner pocket. I just did some mats and the cut-apart sheet. They're fun because if you just want to put down 
memories or so and then you can actually take your double stick tape and place it on the front of your pocket um, if you don't want to write on the back and just add to it then that will close and here is sorry my cat jumped on the table and he's sitting on the ribbon I couldn't move it um, here we have a belly band but it's also a pocket and I just love this paper I hope you can see that isn't that adorable looks like um, mom's grocery list it just fits now now this pocket does go quite a ways down and then this is a four and a half by four and a half and here's one of the six it came from the six by twelve accent punch outs and they're really nice they're textured you can um, write on them put your cardstock back them however you like and then in the belly band I just made a pocket um, a little side pocket tag and again a recipe will fit when making this album I had to think of ways that things were going to stay put because the pages stand up when it's stored so here's a life is a picnic and when you open you have a nice large pocket looks like a berry basket and then you have more room for pictures maybe of those barbecues picnics that you want to put here here and then some recipes on the cards that remind you and some more of those cut apart sheets and then I just backed one of the stickers so that you could set them inside there and then I left plenty of room for your pictures and recipes and then on this one I made a pocket at the bottom and put some of the cards in and so you've got a pocket and then this little uh, was a from the 6 by 12 punch out sheets and I backed it on the cardstock to hold my envelope shut just use my envelope punch board and these can actually go inside the envelope or you can put them inside the pocket and then close it they don't have to be on the outside but when they are on the outside it also gives it extra holding power for that that envelope and here we have a flap that opens to a small side pocket isn't this wood grain it's just gorgeous I love it two of the cut aparts very vintage and fun and then we have a very large pocket and again you've got room in these pockets to add to it and then I have a belly band with the flap and a nice large mat just fits underneath there and then the top closes and for our back page then I have three different cascading pages again lots of room you have plenty of space to fill this up now I left the back page well let me sorry I know we're doing this as we video we find all those little specks and stuff um, so you can see how this is underneath my binding and it goes around the top to hold that uh, those pages together so I chose this for the back and then I, I decided to leave it because I really really liked how it's you can journal on it you can add more pages and it's just really it's neat I really liked I like this paper now when you are done and you're ready to close up your album you just tie it and I, le I left a lot of, of uh, the ribbon and I love the bow bunny double dot ribbon because it's the same on both sides and I left a lot of it so there's plenty of room to add what you need and then we just bring this up Oops. magnets go on the inside so see how you, everything is standing up and then there's our side view of the pocket page and then we just put on our lid 
Let me lay it down. Now, this is going to sit really nice on the counter. It will sit on a shelf, china cupboard. It And it, what a beautiful display for summer. So I hope you really liked this album. And go ahead and, like I said, follow Susan's tutorial for the Shabby Chic Recipe File Box. <coughs> and then just make sure that you leave it... Um, you leave it, no, you don't leave it. You, you don't put on the pocket, the back, so that you have just your mini album that can now go inside there. So thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just give me a holler. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.